You know, kids, I think, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like I've been wearing black shirts every time I record these videos. Anyway, hello, how are you? So today we're going to look at prepositions and conjunctions in this article of the week on Toys R Us we did. This is the last thing we're going to do. So again, if you go to what your class is, you would see that, again, we watched the brain pop. You're going to download some notes for preposition. We watched the conjunction and watch Schoolhouse Rock. Then you're going to download some notes to help you. But then you're going to go back again into your Google Drive. Go to your recent. And in your recent, you should see your name of the Toys R Us article. Hopefully you have the one that says, well, you know, I told you, do your name, AOTW, Toys R Us, 2122, and whatever the date is that we worked on it in your hour. I know I'm confusing, but that should be your most updated assignment. Now, since I've already done this with one class, I'm going to use their updated one that we did. So, again, you click on it. And then you go to open with, annotate with Cami. And here is the pretty much totally completed document. Some classes we got to for the past decade birth rate, some classes we didn't. So if we didn't do that paragraph with your class, don't worry about marking it up. If we did do that paragraph with your class, please mark it up. So. Because I did the colors of the eight parts of speech as the colors of the rainbow. That's why I did nouns, red, um, verbs, orange, pronouns, yellow, adjectives, green, adverbs, blue, prepositions, indigo, and conjunctions, violet. Now, since indigo is in between um, blue and violet, I decided to go with pink for my prepositions. So again, when you download those notes, watch the brain pop, it'll kind of give you an idea. Again, prepositions are words are fr words and phrases, phrases, mind you, because we're going to talk about that, that give show time and place to nouns and pronouns. They can be adverb phrases, they can be adjective phrases, but a preposition must always begin with a prepositional phrase must always begin with a preposition like to, to, with, at, from, but they must always end with an object of the preposition. The object of the preposition can either be a noun or it can be a pronoun. And I don't know if there's any pronouns that end any of these prepositional phrases in this article. So you would highlight in pink things like to, 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 with, from, at. And then prepositional phrases can have adjectives as modifiers like at all exciting offerings, where all and exciting modify offerings and offerings is the object of the preposition going back to at. Again, I didn't highlight the, I could have, but those are articles, but I didn't want to, you know, mess you guys up. And then conjunctions are words that connect words, phrases, and clauses. You have your coordinating conjunctions like and, those are the fanboys, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. We highlighted those in purple or violet. I used um, neon purples. So please highlight those because it makes it easier to see. And then we also have subordinating conjunctions. Subordinating conjunctions are words that begin in de or, sorry, begin dependent clauses. So a word like if, because, because. When words like those begin, again, 
dependent clauses. Like if we look at this sentence, if you spent your childhood anywhere from the United States to France to Spain to Hong Kong, it is likely that you remember at least one visit to Toys R Us, the massive toy chain store with its bright and bold sign. That's a sentence. But if we just began saying, if you spent your childhood anywhere from the United States to France to Spain to Hong Kong, that is not a sentence. It is not a sentence because of this word right here. A subordinating conjunction introduces a subordinating clause. Another word for a subordinating clause is a dependent clause. Another word for a subordinating clause and a dependent clause is a sentence fragment. And so therefore it cannot be a complete thought. It may look like it has a subject and a predicate. It may look like it has a noun and a verb that can work as a subject and a predicate, but it cannot because of these words right here. So you guys, please go through and highlight all of the conjunctions in violence, please. Again, you can pause my video and go into your article and just, again, flip back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth as a reference. As always, by if you need any more assistance, please message me on Schoolology or please email me. Thank you very much and have a super sparkly day.